here in a pile that she's keeping. Today, I take their space from scattered to sleek. Today, I'm on my way to see Jackie and Sim. They've both been married before, and they have stuff from their previous lives. Now they have Sydney, who's about a year old, and she has stuff. So there's going to have to be some compromises made so we can make room for everyone. We need Helen because we need somebody who's objective. We need somebody who can come in and ask the question, do you really need this? And Sydney needs space in this house, and right now, Sim has really, Sim and his things have taken over the house. I don't think that's true at all. I think there's a lot of space for everybody. Hi, Helen. Hi. Come on in. Come on in. I'm Jackie, by the way. Jackie, great to meet you. You too. Hi, I'm Sim. Sim. Terrific to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Come on in. Come on in. Why don't I give you a tour of our house? You'll see that we have a slight problem. Now, what's up with all the books? Who do they belong to? Mostly me. I'm very comfortable with books. Jackie, on the other hand, feels that it's visually distracting. I enjoy books as well, but I feel that they are an eyesore. Ideally, it'd be nice to have a library that would include Sydney's books. Records. Lots of records. Do you ever listen to them? Uh, mostly, no. What's in here? Can That's the electrical, yeah, absolutely. That's oh. the electrical panel, and we've made use of the hiding space for cassettes and uh, videotapes. This room has multiple personalities. I mean, is it a bedroom? Is it a family room? Is it a playroom? Is it a library? What's important to you here? To get rid of all of this clutter and to start from scratch so that we can build a wonderful family room together. That's a part of me, a part of Sim, and a part of Sydney. So what's next? Let's go upstairs, Helen. Is this the big trouble spot? Uh, yes. Yeah. Come on in, this is our office. It's very compact in here. This is a little scary. This what is happened here? This is what happens. Mail comes in for me. I often leave it on the dining table downstairs. Sim doesn't like looking at the clutter in the dining room. He gathers up all of my mail, brings it up here, and dumps it on my desk. So why do you do that, Sim? You know how she feels about because it. Because she leaves stuff for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh -huh. and it's just lying on the dining room table or uh -huh. somewhere in the dining room. And it belongs in the office. Uh -huh. And she just needs to step up and go through this. So tell me about your organizing style. Would you say you're a visual type of person? Yes, very much. All so right. if you don't see it, then you're afraid you're going to forget exactly. it? Exactly. Got it. OK. So what do you want for this space? I want it all to go away. I want the clutter to leave. I'd like to see this lovely desk. Is there anything else in this room that I need to look at? This is one item that really needs to be discussed. It's an issue. Oh, you've got your wedding gown in plastic. It's going to turn all yellow in here. Isn't it lovely? Except that it's her wedding gown from her first marriage, not our wedding. No. Yeah. Why are you keeping it? Well, originally I thought it would be nice, now that we have a daughter, if we could take this beautiful fine silk and make pillows for Sydney's future bed. Well, you're not going to make pillows if you haven't done anything with it this long. And you know what? Normally, I don't do this until the purge, but I have to put my foot down with this. Items carry energy. Everything around you has energy. And this is energy from a different time in your life. And you don't want this in the house where you're sharing it with your present husband and your child. There's no way. No. Say bye-bye to the dress. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. What I would love to see in this room is a place where you can come in here and be productive, get your work done, 
without having all of this stuff taking your focus away. Then we'll set up a system so that you can pay your bills and there's a home for everything. The biggest challenge is that their organizing style is different. Jackie is the type of person that wants everything out where she can see it. Sim is more the type of person who wants things hidden behind closed doors so he doesn't have to see it. But if I put things away to make Sim happy, then Jackie's going to feel that she can never find things when she needs them. This is the MPO too. A little stuck. Yeah, Jackie must have lost it but he couldn't get her dress. What's this? <laughs> Didn't we say this was going? We had this discussion. Bad karma. That's right. You said it, girl. Jackie and Sim got together later in life, and of course they brought all their stuff with them. What's up with all the books? Who do they belong to? Mostly me. Problem is, all of this baggage, it's weighing them down. And they've got to make room for their daughter Sydney's things. So now it's time to say bye-bye to the past. Jackie and Sim's family room is anything but a family room. This bed, it's way out of place. That's got to go. The toys, they're just thrown haphazardly all over the room. Move those out. The books, well, sorry Sim, this room looks like a library. All of these things out. Now that the room is empty, I'm gonna bring in two built-in wall units. Then I'm gonna bring in a couch and a play area for Sydney. So she has a place to play. Jackie and Sim have a place to relax and entertain. Two separate yet clearly defined areas. Now this is a family room. There is no space for me. There's nothing of mine down here. I would really like to toss three quarters of his things. I would love to see Jackie's organizational skills sharpened up just a little bit. Where on the desk? Sam, can you come in? I, I, I can't find them. All right, guys, here is the plan. I'd like you in the basement, all the heavy furniture gets lugged outside to the truck, and actually empty out the whole room. Just leave the books, the magazines, and the records. Everything else, out. My strategy here is to keep Jackie and Sim together, because I can see that they're very competitive, and they're trying to outdo each other. By keeping them together, I think they're gonna purge more stuff. Oh, look all at right. all the space. Wow. Well, I guess you guys are done. Thanks a lot. You're impressed already? It's well, amazing. wait till you see when we're done. I want to sort the book, so come on over here. Great. Okay. This isn't as easy as I thought it would be. So what's the inner struggle going on in your mind then? Um, I loved I loved university, and philosophy was a big part of my life back then. Mm -hmm. So what's the hard part? Um, I guess realizing that I'm no longer a, a naive student. <laughs> And then I'm an old lady. Well, you know what? We all got to grow on, up on, sometime. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Don't be so quick there with those hands. And my Greek tragedies I'd also like to uh, hold on to. Okay, are you going to read them again? <laughs> That's my nervous laugh. That is your nervous laugh. Yes, I've recognized it. <gasps> no, uh -huh. unlikely. Okay, so why hang on to them? That's true. That's true. It's all Greek to me. We're only going to keep the books that you use as a reference and maybe one or two absolute favorites that you think you're going to read again. Back to you. Back to you. I'm happy to see that Sim and Jackie are so motivated to make space for one another. But this is just the beginning. This is the easy stuff. High five both of you. Woo. Awesome. Upstairs, there's a lot to sort through. Jackie and Sim's office right now feels like a big tunnel. The shelving units are overpowering the space, and this desk is buried under paper. So that's all eliminated from the room. All of that clutter, I'm gonna give them a paper system that actually works. And this closet right now really just is housing the remnants of Jackie's previous life. So these coats can go, ooh, nice purses though. We'll have to find a home for them. Okay, it's a little tight, so let's just squeeze in here as best we can. The office is way too small to purge in, so I want to empty everything into the area downstairs where it'll be easier to sort through the stuff. Who 
reads all these magazines? Uh, we both do. Okay. Well, I really don't. You don't? No. She does. Sam! Heavy, watch your back. Oh, I'm good. Concentrate. Let's work downstairs. This is probably the easiest. A little stuck. Yeah, yeah Jackie know. must have locked it so that you couldn't get her dress. What's this? <laughs> Didn't we say this was going? I thought it'd be great for Sydney for dress up. We had this discussion. Bad karma. That's right. You said it, girl. Take it out. Yeah. But I want to feel it. I just okay. want to feel the material. All right. No, you time. know what? It's part of the grieving Frankly process. You can feel it all you want. There you go. <laughs> grieving, oh, grieving, gorgeous. grieving, and after grief comes relief. Bye-bye. <laughs> that wedding dress was a reminder of something from the past that didn't work. And it was actually blocking Sim and Jackie from moving forward. Now that we got rid of those bad vibes, we'll move everything downstairs for sorting. Let's hope Jackie and Sim stay motivated and keep compromising because we got a big day tomorrow. Can we let this go? No. I love that. Please. Nope. I've had it. Nope. Someone else can enjoy it. Absolutely not. It's Dan. Oh, this is a great bag. You I know, think we need to keep Oh, hang on a second here. I had two briefcases. They both went. She's got 50 purses, and they're sitting here in a pile that she's keeping. Jackie and Sim want to make room for their future, but in order to do that, they've got to get rid of their past. That's my wedding dress. Okay. Oh, remember we talked about this, Jackie? <laughs> By keeping them together, I can see that they're motivating each other and they're purging a lot of stuff. So my strategy is working. You wanna keep that one? Nope. They're here. Hey guys, come Hi. on in. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. We've got a lot of work to do today. Here's the plan. The three of us are going to plow through all the stuff that came out of the office. Purses! Not oh. going anywhere. That's like a keeper. <laughs> the baby actually However, enjoys that. This. Yikes. That can go. <gasps> I love you. Yay! This is a very nice bag. Very nice. Very, nice. very pretty. Oh, this looks interesting. I love this bag. Oh, yeah. Leather never loses that last No, so let's keep. Okay. Tell me that's not a great I little summer it. bag. Keep. Oh, 100%. This is my chinoiserie. That's orgasmic. Oh, this is a great bag. Never been used, but I, I love the color red. I do plan to use it. You I know, think we need to keep oh, this. Oh, hang on a second here. I had two briefcases. They both went. She's got 50 purses, and they're sitting here in a pile that she's keeping. If men were to carry purses, I'm sure we would argue more. But A briefcase is a man's purse. But you use That's knapsacks. Uh, irrelevant. So where did this stuff come from? This is stuff that uh, my brother and I got over the years as we were children. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need this much, quite frankly. I mean, let's cut it down to minimum amount. Does that sound fair? No, absolutely not. I'm not going to bend on this at all. Oh. That's a keeper. Can we let this go? No. I love that. Please. Nope. I've had it. Nope. Someone else can enjoy it. Absolutely not. It's Dan. It's really unattractive. No, you know what? I really like it. I, I'd like to keep it. Okay, I need a decision on this, guys. We're keeping it. Yeah, we are. As long as it's not anywhere in in my viewing world. It's fine. Okay. Okay, where are we going to put it? So where would that be, sweetie? Put it in my work room, then. Okay. That's a deal. All right. Letting go of stuff is never easy. And because I'm insisting that they make decisions, Jackie and Sim are forced to compromise and come up with solutions that are acceptable to both of them. Except for him, I'll, I'll compromise. You'll give in and keep this up. All right, so take this to the closet upstairs, please. Sure. While the team gets the giveaway and toss piles out of the house, downstairs the basement is getting a fresh coat of paint. And we're building custom cabinets with doors to keep the leftover books out of sight. So you got all this stuff, and I'm going to show you a method that you can use to sort it quickly. This is actually called the RAFT method, and it's an acronym for Read, Act, File, and Toss. So you just get started. You okay. Get the first thing, and you ask yourself, okay, what's the first action that has to happen here? Which is just an envelope, so why are you holding on to this? For the address. Okay, so that's an action. You need to take that address and record it somewhere. Right. So where does that go? Oh, in the act. In the act, right. Okay, now I need to file. Next. Open and file. 
-hmm. You only have really four decisions to make. Right. Right? Okay, that makes sense. Magazines are bulky, and the information goes out of date quickly. Fine. That's, That's so cool! That is cool. So I'm going to get Sim to tear out the pages he wants to keep and set up a filing system for easy access and quick retrieval. Now, when you clip your article, there's a kitchen one right there. Yeah. You drop it in. Too easy. Wonderful. Is that something you think you could do? I think I can do that. You guys have been absolutely awesome. I know it's been hard. It's been a lot of work. It's been great. We had yeah? fun. Yeah, we yeah, had great time. It's been a really great experience. Oh, that's good. Do you feel lighter? Much lighter. Ten Fabulous. pounds we've lost. Fabulous. Okay, I've got a lot of work to do to set everything up now. Okay. So you guys are going to pass on the key. Here you With go. With all your trust. There you go. And next time you see it, it'll be amazing. I'm sure. Jackie and Sim haven't agreed on everything during their purge. Yep. Great I little summer it. bag. But okay, wait the until they see their new rooms. This is fantastic. By acting as a mediator, I was able to help Jackie and Sim unload all that baggage from the past and make room for their future with their daughter. High five, there you baby. Go. High five, both of you. Woo. Awesome. Now we have two new rooms for Jackie, Sim, and Sydney to enjoy. I cannot wait to see what Helen has done to our home. I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. Check out your new family oh. room. Oh. oh. This is fantastic. Shocked. Party time. Wow. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm. Spe I'm. I'm. For once, I'm. Uh, I'm speechless. The basement was trying to function as a spare bedroom, a play area, and a library, but none of these areas were clearly defined. We eliminated the outdated furniture, purged the books and brought in sleek and sophisticated modern pieces that reflect Jackie and Sim's style. Through compromise and perseverance, we now have a family room that Jackie, Sim, and Sydney can enjoy. So That's come great. check this out. Come on over here. Look at this. Oh, wow. There's all the blocks. Easy access, very organized. And the dolls. And we've made it fun. We put her name I and love little these. handles. Love so it really feels like her space when she's here. She'll know exactly where to go. I know a big problem was having the books where you could see them. The visual distraction of the books was an issue. Exactly. So we've got cupboards here now. All the books that we saved after the purge are here. Sydney's not going to be able to get into them and tear any pages out and damage them. At the same time, though, Sim, your beloved books are here where you Terrific. can get them. Check this out. Sweet. Look at this. You can still have guests. It's very comfortable. Oh. And the best part, that's a slip cover you're on. It is? Machine washable. Oh, excellent. No. Yes. I think I'm going to move down here. Oh, wow. A real office. Oh, oh, oh. It's incredible. It is really gorgeous. I can't believe it. The furniture in the office was a mishmash of items from Jackie and Sim's past that they were making do with. I replaced the old stuff with matching pieces that are to scale with the space. Jackie's desk was a mess of paperwork that she had no system for. Now this is a space where she can really get her work done. Remember when you would walk in here and you saw those big bookcases? Yeah. So you still have the same amount of storage, but now, because it's all on this nice long wall, it opens the space up. Look at your desk. I know. I can actually see a desk. So you've got your mail here, and remember we talked about how to sort it using the raft system. Right. Right? And then you just pick up the basket after you've done that take it back downstairs at the beginning of the day, and it's empty for the next day's mail. I never expected it to look this amazing. I really didn't. And to have pictures of our daughter and just of us, the nuclear family, is... Oh, it's so nice. It's like crying. I might want to work now.
bringing together um, all of our things, um, our possessions, uh, our feelings into one room to make it an actual family room was very important to us. Uh, it's, it's a room that has really brought all three of us together. There's, there's a space for Sydney, there's a space for my things and Jackie's things and they're displayed together and really beautifully. Cheers. Thank you, and thank you all for thank everything. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Amazing.